So what I want to do now before I put it back in service is give everything a good douching with some NGD greaser. Get all the grease off the inside. Get the grease off the gears. Take everything apart, lube it up. You can really tell these things have been, it's been a while since these things have been taken apart and serviced. <laughs> so these poles, look, they're a little sticky right here. You can see how they kind of get stuck. They don't fully retract. They need to be oiled. That little thing wraps around the shaft. So the base is stamped 1289. I don't know if that's the year it was made or some other number. So I'm going to go rinse some parts off and get this degreaser off of these. And we can start putting this thing back together. So I got all the pieces cleaned. I got all the gears and parts. So this little plastic thing goes over this shaft. No grease required. So the winch servicing kit comes with oil comes with a thing of grease, comes with some brushes, some Paul springs. This thing, this plastic piece is pretty rough around the edges. I don't know if this was machined into the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a definite groove. And that thing sits, I think, right there. I think the shaft actually goes right in there and some gears right on it. I guess the first thing to do would be put the Paul springs back in some of the gears. So I've got a Paul, I've got a spring. These things have a little lay where they sit in a groove. The spring lays like this and then the other part of the spring sticks out. Pop it in like so. Slide it down in here. Give it a drop of oil. That oil will creep around. We've got another set of pawls that go in this gear mechanism here. Now we got two pawls, and those go inside this thing. So, what you got is a nice clean. That's what a winch is supposed to sound like. And then when it backs up, it locks. So when I pulled off the top of the drum, there was this gear, which has Paul ratchets inside. So this thing rides on a square shaft. This is exactly how it lays. So this gear, this, sits like that. There's this little circlip. And this thing has a couple of wraps on it. Okay, you see how I got it started on? Best thing to do there is jam that sucker down in. You see how it's like a spring? It will roll eventually onto that groove in the shaft. This one is the middle shaft. This one rides here. This one sits over top of it. So now we go to the grease. I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush. I'm going to go ahead and grease the shaft. That's set. So now we got this thing to deal with. And this goes down like this. It ratchets. This pin sort of floats. And then I've got this plastic thing. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil down here just to make the plastic thing happy. Grease on the shaft, oil's on the pawl. Just 
just a bit of grease on the inside. Where all the teeth engage, that's where you want the grease. Now this guy. So this thing sits on some kind of plastic bushing. So it fits on here. This turns by itself. This needs grease. Oh, just in this little space. There's a little tiny space between the two gear boxes where the, well the the ratchet pole and the gears go. So I'm gonna spooge a little grease in here as well. Goes down in there. All those teeth engage. That sits nice. I'm gonna grease all these teeth. So this is the top shaft and I'm gonna give where this center spindle rides I'm gonna give it a good greasing and just smear just a tiny little bit up inside this hole so I'm gonna drop this thing down Everything should sit in there nicely. Hopefully it turns. Looks like everything everything works good. Got a couple of Allen screws to put back in. Spin it around and get the grease distributed. The next thing is to coat the inside of this drum where the bearings ride. So, just you know, so that's just nice to do. And also, right here, you see the shiny part. You can tell where the metal's wearing on uh, the top cap. So, the last part to do is smear grease into these shaft bearings. So, Best, the easiest way to do it is just squeeze it on your fingers and go for it. That's the second one. So we got two sets of bearings and then the drum. Greased already inside. Drum rides on top. So now the tailing jaw, the two-piece, actually three-piece system, the tailing jaw, the rope stripper, the bottom jaw, I got these springs to pop out, so I'm going to put some grease on those as well. So this thing goes down. The tailing jaw sits inside here, face down. Actually, this is the rope stripper. So inside this mechanism, I'm gonna put a little bit more grease where the plastic rubs together. Spring loaded, very nice. So these three are 5.30 seconds. So now for the best part. So here's the rope stripper. The tailing arm goes down over top of the rope stripper. And the homemade piece that took me forever and a day to make that keeps the tailing arm from spinning around and around and around like it did when I got it at Blue Pelican. That goes right here. Drum spins. Tailing arm does not spin anymore. Top cap. Center hub unit. Quarter inch Allen wrench. 
there's one speed, there's low gear. They asked 125, I got it for 50. I put it back together. I made a little part out of epoxy and fiberglass and this is basically a brand new winch. Yeah. So thanks for watching and that's all I got on this uh, this winch rehabilitation. So thanks for watching and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.